Hey, hey, we're still speed running the Congo uniting Africa before 1600. You can see that after the first two episodes, we are at year 1528 and we are very good in our progress. Currently, we have 130 of our own provinces, and on top of that, we also have another 12 here, another 15 here, and another 13 here provinces. So, what we have to do today is to conquer the Western Africa as well as Maghreb while fishing off the Mamluks. So, this should be a piece of cake. We are very good with our economy, with our manpower, the technologies, and even the army quality. As we are speed running, as you remember, I'm even going to take this mission, which will increase my income. Additionally, instead of 91, it's going to be 90 free of income, so even more balance. So we actually could think of building up to 10,000 of artillery here. That's it's four, another four, so let's actually build two more thousand. Uh, so this way we'll be conquering the provinces around here even faster. Why at the same time here I can attack Alodia and we do have a couple of claims and uh, this will be like also very easy to be made and I'll be trying to give as much as possible to Semyon because myself I'm saving army points to finish off humanist ideas and I'll be needing a lot of army points uh, to get the lands in the Western Africa. So here I can just give it to a vassal and yeah, there it goes, he can go take care of the capital, the rest will be carpet sieged. My fleet actually got me all of this and this and this visible so what I'll try to get is the coast of the North Africa. So this is... Sh yeah, I'm putting just this. So this I guess uh, it will be West African Sea or the Mediterranean, what we want to start with. I'll start with the West African Sea. This army is now well ready for the conquest. So let's go on the border of Benin and we'll declare our no CB war on them. Why over here? First of all, I can do a claim on the Mamluks. So let's do so. And second of all, time to piss out Alodia and I would like to fully annex them, which is <laughs> exactly 100% of the war score. Not as much of the Diplo points to pay. And as promised, what we want to do is to feed Semyon as ourselves we have other things to spend our army points on. What I should start doing is also annexing Buha, but to do it I'll need to improve relations with them because they are the slayer 55 actually. So what I'll do, I'll go to the development map mode and I'm going to dev click twice, the cheapest province, which is going to be this one. With those two dev clicks they are absolutely loyal and I'll just need the diplomat to simply send in a couple of ducats and how much we need to improve? We need to improve by 16, so 50 ducats will do the job so we can start annexing them, I still probably have a lower... No, this will be a very quick and nice annexation so let's wait until the 2nd October and the annexation will not proceed because we don't have Diplo points, okay, uh, that's fine, that's fine, we're getting 9 monthly, let's do this. Mr. Benin, I can declare a no CB war, because as you can see here we have free stability and a very stable country, so what I need to do is to get a diplomat, let's cancel this boy, and that will be piece of cake of war, because if you go to the uh, technology map mode, yes, they are very behind, so let's go and declare it. No CB war is the best kind of the war and see that still it's super stable. So let's go and siege them down now. Age of Reformation just started. It means that we should cancel the war taxes because it costs two mil points monthly. And how many... Uh, we at least unified the culture, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Only this would be really helpful, but we'll be mainly fighting with the Sunnis. How about the Golden Era? Golden Era is going to last for another 24 years. We are in the middle of it. What we want to do is to fully annex Benin and the rest of the allies. We want to white peace them. Uh, so we'll be having very short truce and we'll be able to attack them very soon. And uh, for that, I should actually build spy network, for example, on Zaza already to be able to attack them as soon as possible. <laughs> do you see this? Benin is landing on my mainland where we don't oh, if this alone my prosperity uh, <laughs> let's just uh, we have manpower we have money let's just build up 4000 troops to crash them by the way mali is already dying from portugal i think they are dying so start building spawn network 
as well, and we are reaching the mill points cap, but uh, I, the plan is to take the insertion from here, it's fine. I can take this tech uh, because uh, we have plenty of mill points, and that unlocks us actually manufacturers that are useful. Yes, so what I'm going to do is to click this beautiful mission for construction cost, construction time, uh, this can, I can take as well. And this as well, the inflation will be very useful, it's even decreasing now. And I'm going to build those manufacturers with the money that we have here. Nothing really interesting, maybe this too. And uh, I'll leave myself some money to just have it in my pocket. So this is being switched down, don't look on this black flag, it's, uh, it's showing wrong. And this guys, are see, uh, I'm just going around and exploring this part of Africa. I'll be white piecing air, I'll be full nexting Benin, and I'll be uh, white piecing uh, Bononan in a second. It's my truth that the Mamluks is going to end in uh, five years. You can still use these stacks to keep expanding here, and then later I'll send it to the Mamluks. Could I release something here? That would be not Benin. I don't want. To... I think Nupe is going to be a very good vassal for us. So let's go here, let's uh, find Nupe. And Snoopy is going to get Ondo, Vari, and Benin. Like this, I'm keeping for myself. Let me just, uh, yeah, of course, I'll have to core this first, and then I'll be able to core those. And uh, now we have to work on going farther. What is this? I should build Spinewall and Songhai to create a core claim on them, while in the meantime, I can already. Uh, claim Zaza in the next month because I have some spy network there. Now here on the West Africa I'm going to attack Songhai and I'm going to call Katsina as a co belligerent that will get additional Dagbon into the war. But this is very good. It will let me conquer both here and here as much as possible. It will cost me a lot of Diplo points as well. But we don't really care that much about the Diplo points at this point. Now I can finish my Humanist ideas. This will give me even more stability of the country but also some infantry compatibility, uh, additional trade power, and unlocks me <laughs> plus one leader shock boys, which is super overpowered, of course. We are also reaching the midpoints cap slowly, so probably soon I'll have to uh, ditch the exploration ideas and change it for something more useful. You can see that I basically explored everything that I needed in the meantime. My ruler just died, which is not bad. Our remember. <laughs> Did this inherit four times to get him four four three. Uh, one to five is the next one, which I will probably also disinherit. Uh, yeah, I will definitely disinherit him. Manageration 14, 10, 10, and this guy's idea cost the thinker. Uh, Why well, here we of course yeah. Let's take all of these bonuses, and I would like to start coring this. Uh, I, yeah, I can't do it yet. And the new Aries. <laughs> what the hell? I got the same arrows I had before, so. Mr. Prestige, here we go again. What I'm going to do is to recruit additional explorer just for the future. Okay, actually, the previous one uh, died, I believe, so it's even better. Let's get this explorer on this uh, ship, and I don't really need to explore more, it's just you know for fun. And I'm going to ditch the exploration ideas now and take on their place the offensive ideas to get the siege ability this would be very useful in our goals and i can take even three at the same time <laughs> see a lot of wars i'm going to fully next zazao but for myself yes take everything why here in the katsina war i would like to give these three provinces to my vassal why from the rest take as much as possible for our sets so let's see it's going to be those three for sure those two, um, border of Yao and Air, and those three can also go to my Vas actually, so let's do this, this and this, I don't think I can fully in exile in one war, can I? Yeah, I can't, but it's all good, <laughs> this cost, a lot of Diplo points, but we don't need any more Diplo points in this game, just to, I know, annex the Vassals, but we have enough to annex the Vassals, so go for this, how's I guess expansion? It's all good. Don't worry, we have this under control. By the way, truth is the Mamluk is ending soon, so I'm going to send this stack. Oh, they are dying from the Ottomans in the meantime. We also just hit a hand one income, which is very good. And even though we're spending so much on rooting and corruption, our balance is really good. I'm just spending everything, so we don't get any of the corruption in the future. 
<sighs> I just love this game. Oh, the first great power ready. We would be if not the tech cost, but don't worry, we'll be getting this slowly by conquering the Northern Africa. This campaign is just anti-good errors. 305, I guess I'll kill them as soon as I get to positive prestige. Truth is, Magnus just ended, so it's time to go and eat them. We're going for a conquest for our own lands. And this should be like a quick, easy peasy war. You can see what's happening uh, to them from the Ottomans, and they don't have that much army. Just need to blockade here any crossings from Yemen. That I don't want them uh, to come and carp this lands. As I'm dealing both with this war and the war with the Mamluks, I started building 12,000 troops here to just push back Yemen from randomly sieging me down. I will hate this war like air is still not piecing them out even though they have 54% of the war score. It's just uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a claim on air, reoccupy this, take these provinces for myself and then peace out Sokai because right now I can take Two provinces. Just doesn't make any sense and it's just giving me a very useless core for peace. But in the meantime, just killing the Mamluks. Yay! I just mentioned that we were killing air and they right away peaced out. Let's just take the provinces for ourselves. I can fully annex them and that's exactly what I'm going to do. All of the provinces for ourselves. Just start coring them and at least. I will decrease this one, it's just so freaking useless. Time to kill another air as we got uh, some positive prestige and I should be very close to peace out the Mamluks. Yeah, I just probably need this fort and kill this army and recopy a couple of provinces. Okay, time to peace them out. Uh, I just need to take the enough amount of the provinces. Maybe I will not take those two. Yeah, that's it. Let's peace uh, the Mamluks out. So the oh yeah, <laughs> the name placement is just alright. So the provinces around here, I will give them to my vassal Semyon. Six, 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 and the provinces that are bordering Tunis, I'm going to give for myself, and I'll start building spy network on Tunis. So you can see on the players map mode. We are quickly getting towards our goal. As for the Fire Conquest, I'm going to attack Mali, which has a couple of allies, including Air, which I'm going to call as a co-belligent. That took some time, but now I can see whole Africa, whole mm, most of Europe and most of Asia automatically in this area, 1544 December. So this would be actually super useful to continue in our goals and I, in the meantime I can uh, continue my offensive ideas feeling, which gave me even more of the force limit. And Ottomans are actually not that big. That's the most important part, they did not get into Africa. We get some, some Castile, some Portugal, but both should be extremely easy to defeat. Yes, yes, another great air, 331, three means that for the next air that we are working on, we are already, when well, I disinherit this one with more prestige, we'll be already on minus 150 prestige. <laughs> we have a micro complication. Yeah, we should go after Tunis right now, but they are like the Ottomans in Morocco. Morocco is fine, but the Ottomans not so much. Ooh, what is the war score cost of Tunis? Uh, it's 200, so we need three wars to, to fully annex them. How is the army of the Ottomans then? <laughs> How? 117,000. What about the army quality? Ottomans. Uh, we have very similar... Well, they have better. They have better. Ottomans will be... I, I mean, they might not even get access from the Mamluks. So we could just rush this and not fight Mamluks, that would be tough. Probably the best way would be to attack Morocco and break the lines between Tunis and Ottomans. Yes, I'm going to ally the Ottomans when I finish my war and I'm going to get the favors so I'll make them break alliance with Tunis. As easy as that. Finishing offensive ideas will help a lot in potential wars because this is going to be 10% of discipline. Five from my ideas, five from offensive, and also this is super important. Stability of the country. This will help a lot with the rebels. Annexation is ending now. 
Yes, we've colored even more. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure I can't add it to a trade company, which is fine. I could state those promises, but I already have my governing capacity limit, so no, I'm not going to state anything here. But you can see that right now we have 187 promises already, and I started annexing Semien by carrying favors on the Ottomans. So how many favors do we need for them to break alliance with someone? 50. This will take some time. But eh, it's fine, it's fine, it should be enough. Printing press started in Berlin and <laughs> it was definitely worth spending 150 prestige on this. 646 air. So as soon as this guy gets 15 years old, I'm going to abdicate my current rural. Here West Africa attacked Tiao, which is I to Mali, so I can take you can see, basically Mali is 101% of the province war score cost. So just to be sure to annex them in the next war, I'm taking three provinces right now. And from what I remember, I'm not really able to fully annex Yao. They're just too big. The war score cost is 116%. So I'll have to do one more war later to achieve the annexation here. But it's fine. We have time. It's 1550. Most importantly, let's uh, take the... Oh, yeah. Something like this. Take some money. Annexation. We still have the Diplo points. See how I have plenty of Alibi points. And that's why currently I'm annexing everything by myself. To, you know, make sure that I'll be having enough time to annex the vassals later. Because, for example, this. Right now it would uh, end in 1600. But keep in mind that right now I have a uh, highly increased overextension. So I'll also start annexing the other vassals very soon to be sure that I will annex all of them before 1600. Anyway, this will be all for today. You see that we are getting very close to achieve our goal and we have just 50 years left to do it. But I think it should not be a problem. We are just missing our vassals plus a little bit of the Western Africa and of course the Northern Africa countries. So in the next episode, I'm wishing to finish this campaign while also of course defeating Europeans at the same time to give you some joy and fun while watching this. So for today, Thank you so much for watching, remember to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the series and would like to watch more, and I will see you soon.